What is up, you amazing, beautiful people? I hope you're doing well wherever you're at and whatever time of day or night you're watching this video because I have a Strav 74 review for you today. And let's not waste any more time and hop right into it. For the survivability of the tank, you have 95 hit points. For the main armor, for the turret, on the front is 45, the sides are 35, and for the rear is 35. For the hull, the front is 75, for the sides is 30, and for the rear is 20. The chance of fire when you do get hit is 20%. For your V range, you have 252 meters. Concealment while stationary is 39, while moving 34, and upon firing is 9. So overall, very pretty good spotting and not being able to get spotted in return. Now let's get into the firing of the tank. Damage per minute is almost 2,000. Reload time, 4.8 seconds. Average penetration for AP is 148. Armor piercing is 200 and for high explosive is 38. Now the average damage for AP is 160. For the APCR it is 135 and for high explosive it is 200. The aiming time is 3.3. Dispersion is 0 0.3. The gun turn limit up is 20 for the gun elevation is 20 for the gun depression is 10 so overall very good gun and very good turret now for the maneuverability tap speed forward is 50 kilometers hour reverse is 20 average speed is 34 power to weight ratio is 17.8 horsepower the weight is 25 tons the turret turn rate is 45 degrees the hull turn rate is 54 the terrain crossing capacity on the road is 110 on the ground is 100 and in water is 78 and the engine power is 462 horsepower so that is it for the stats of this tank overall it seems like a very good spotting tank and honestly a pretty good hull down tank as you can see in this position i'm in obviously as soon as i'm done doing that it, the replay gets to the part where i was lagging out i lagged out right here but this spot that i'm in i was going hull down getting damage out and blocking damage i'm already at a thousand five hundred almost six hundred block damage and i've di dished out just about a thousand three hundred damage and i believe this first battle if you were paying attention to it at all showcased very well of how you were supposed to play this tank you go up spot first and go into a hold down position where the enemy cannot pin you because this turret is pretty insane and this gun is pretty good and there we go we take out the bdr and like that the battle is already over and we almost blocked 2000 damage it's only a second class game we did get 1700 damage one tank destroyed but mainly it was about how we played it and how we positioned it we spotted right off the bat went into a hold down position and we hold that point because on the mini map there were only me and like one or two friendly tanks up on the hill the rest of the team went and flanked around so it was mainly us holding the hill against the entire enemy team and we did it pretty effectively if you guys want to go back rewatch that part of the video or i can go ahead and do another battle breakdown video of this later on titled how to play the strauf 74 perfectly or something like that but in this next battle it is a first class game and i was not able to get a mastery yet i'm still trying to get a mastery for the stuff but i really wanted to get this review out review out to you guys as soon as possible because i know these tanks are new and everybody's going to be wanting to watch the reviews and how to play them so we're right off on this battle i go into the spotting position right here and this tank is very fast and mobile so i can get there and it has very good gun depression so i'm able to hit the enemy stuff 74 pull back and just wait for the camo to reset i don't quite wait for the camo to reset i wait a couple seconds and then when i start moving i hopefully it goes i know you have to wait like nine seconds but oh well i saw our teammate pushing up and i see there's only two enemy strap 74s over here so i decide to push up help help out our leo and focus this guy right here i push across very risky on me if the entire enemy team was there luckily the entire enemy team was not and we take out that one strove all that's left is the other one over here gonna take some shots into him that one did bounce and with the armor on this tank you can get some lucky bounces as you can see in the front part there's that little upper plate and on the sides if you angle it properly you could bounce there but it's mainly the turret where the armor is at so you would always want to go hold down in this tank and there we go we take out the enemy strove and it looks like we took out all the enemies on this side. We're almost 
at 1,000 damage already and two enemy tanks destroyed. So we are going to cap out base A real quick before we go flank around and hit the enemy from behind helping out our heavies. And can we just take a moment to admire how gorgeous this tank is. I really love the design of this tank and I love the feel of it. This honestly might be one of my new favorite tanks in the game. I just wish that the Shermans had this much detail to like their just appearance with like the gun on top. If the, if the Shermans had like a 30 cal or a 50 cal on top of it and more just detail to them, I feel like everybody would be running them. But like just the appearance of this tank is so good. I, this is one of the best looking tanks in the game. Yes, it's been out for one day and I'm already saying that. But just look at it, man. But there we go. We are pushing up. We capped out base A. We are pushing up behind the enemy. You know, I'm going to go for lower hit point tanks. The Vindicator, I leave for our T-37 to take out. And I'm going to focus the T-13. T-131, my bad. I don't know what happened there. I had a little seizure or something. But I focus him for a couple shots and he is taken out of the game. I got a shot into that smasher. I got to keep an eye on him. So I back up. He hits the ground from me, try to get another shot off, does not go through. So now I'm going to focus this Tiger one. As you can see, I cannot pin him with AP, so I have to switch to APCR. Try to get a cheeky shot on that smasher, but unfortunately our teammates do take him out in time. But there we go, we switch back to AP. Switch back to APCR, I believe. Yep, to confirm that kill. And all that's left is this T-43, so I just rush him, ram him. I'm just trying to get as much damage out as I possibly can. I honestly thought this could have been a mastery right here if I took out the T-43. Unfortunately, the Leo does take him out, and we only get a first-class game. But we do get the win, and that is good teamwork by my team. As you can see, the first-class, 2,130 damage, two tanks destroyed. Overall, that was a very effective game, and that's another way you can play it very fast and aggressive, too while being smart about your positioning and the battle awareness. Now, if, I'm not saying do this all the time. It always depends on the battle, on how you play your tanks. Overall, I think going a haul down and spotting is the way to go most of the time. But just go with the flow of the battle. That's what you have to do. Go with the flow of the battle because you can never like always rely on just one strategy while playing a tank. Now in this game, I do kind of yellow at the start. Not kind of, I pretty much full yellow at the start. And a Chiri does accuse me of hacking. You will, get, you will see what I'm talking about in a second. But right away, we do push off at the start. I was going to go and try to spot real quick over at base C, but I decided against it. Come here and just go around, see if there's any enemy tanks coming in. If there's a whole lot of them, I would have backed up immediately but it looks like there's only leo so i said screw it i'm gonna rush up full send it hit him once can we hit him again hit him twice before our teammate does ram the crap out of him and take him out of the game and there's the chibi right there getting that shot into him and the helsing is pulling up so I'm going to aim in, get a nice shot, and that's another thing about this tank I do really love. The gun. The gun is very amazing in this tank. Obviously, you're going to have to carry some APCR for those higher tanks with more armor that you run into. But that's another story. Just carry some APCR with you. And I went down and I got a black shot from that P43. And I take out that Chiri. And all that's left is the Helsing. Can we get one more shot in? Yep, one more shot in before the T29 does take him out. And it looks like our entire team came over here and looked Chiri Hacker. How? How am I hacking, man? I'm just, we're outplaying you. And the T T71 could not say it any better than I can. Lol cry like literally if you're gonna be like that just cry all you want man but i do push up and i'm gonna use this tank's good gun depression and turret armor get shots on that tiger one and the kv2 at first i was gonna focus the tiger one but i realized kv2 if he does get a nice shot into me i'm pretty much deleted and the chiri is saying no he reloads faster this tank has, at the time of recording this, this tank has been out for one day. How do you already know this tank reloads faster? <laughs> what? Anyways, we take out that KV-2. And there's the Tiger-1. We are going to start focusing him. 
He is the only enemy tank left. One more shot and I'll be over. Yep, we are over 2,000 damage. Can we get the kill? Yes, we do. We shoot right through it. And we take him out again for our third kill and the win. And there we go. We get the first class 2,170 damage and three tanks destroyed. Overall, I really do love this tank. It's probably one of my new favorite tanks in the game. And I do highly recommend you guys playing this tank. Don't just free XP your way through it. Actually play the tanks. Like, I really enjoy this one. And we are on top of the leaderboard. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. All that fun stuff. You know the drill. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next review. How does it